Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. B is greater than zero, and the absolute value of A is less than 0 0.5. So we want to know what's greater, quantity A or quantity B. Well, oftentimes the best thing you can do on these quantity A, quantity B questions is just test one case, see what happens. So let's do that. Why don't we say that B is equal to one, right? Something greater than zero. Uh, and we'll say that A is, I don't know, 0 0.25. Now, very importantly, A, we don't know if it's positive or negative. We take the absolute value of A, it's less than 0 0.5. So we'll just test 0 0.25 as our A to begin with. Okay, so 0 0.25, the absolute value of 0 0.25 plus one, right? is 1.25. And over here, it's one times 0.25, so 0 0.25. Okay, I have one case where quantity A is greater than quantity B, but here's the question of the hour. Is that always true? Could there be one, one counter, exception to the, counter uh, exception to this rule? And if there is, then we would have to choose answer option D. For now though, let's get rid of answer options B and C, right? We have shown that in one case, quantity A is greater. That's enough for now. Now we want to try to disprove it. Well, the most, I think, straightforward way to try would be to make a negative. Let's see what happens then. Let's make a negative 0 0.25. Well, the absolute value of negative 0 0.25 is 0 0.25. So once again, we get 1.25. That's uh, 1 uh, for B plus 0.25 for the absolute value of A. And over here, we get negative 0 0.25. So we're even worse off right? Quantity A is still greater again. So we've found two cases where quantity A is greater than quantity B. And if you're, I don't know, comfort comfortable with it, you can go ahead and pick answer option A. But you'll never be 100% sure, right? Like, is there maybe some other exception that I'm missing? Well, here's the logical reason why quantity A always has to be greater than quantity B. B let's, let's take B, right? B is some number. If I add a positive number to B, right? It doesn't matter if that number is a fraction, decimal, whatever, it's going to get bigger, right? So I'm, if I'm starting at B and I add a number to it, it's gonna get bigger. Whereas over here with quantity B, I start with B and I multiply it by a fraction. So it's going to get smaller. So B is common to both of these, but here I'm adding something and here I'm multiplying by a negative meaning that quantity A always will be greater. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.